What's up guys, today's gonna be kind of a short one. I'm out here doing a little bit of practice in the backyard and thought I'd do a little video for you. So what I wanna to talk to you about is realistic practice for realistic situations in the whitetail woods or hunting in general and how you can make yourself a little bit more familiar with that in a low stress environment like this, like the backyard to really help catapult you into being prepared whenever that moment of truth comes. So stick around. So what I'm out here doing today, uh, I'm going to be doing a public land hunt on opening day of Missouri's bow season, which is only about uh, two and a half months away now. It's really coming up fast. And uh, I'm going to be hunting on the ground, not hanging hunt, nothing like that. Just going to be uh, finding a good log or spot to brush in in some areas that I've already pre-scouted earlier this year and hunting from the ground uh, it's like I love and enjoy to do I try to do it every year so with that uh, I'm gonna be out wearing my leafy suit so I've got my leafy hat on and my bino harness because for me those are the two main things that are an unfamiliarity for me uh, I don't ever shoot really with my bino harness on, you know, that extra weight kind of pulling and tugging on you, uh, even though it's not very much, whenever you uh, get into that stressful or uh, adrenaline packed situation, like having a deer standing in front of you, that little bit of difference, if you're not used to it, it, could, it can put you off a little bit and uh, because it's something you're not familiar with and then you inject that into a high stress situation. So, um, I don't normally shoot with a lot of stuff going on on my head. You know, I either shoot with my hat on backwards or uh, no hat at all. And getting this uh, leafy suit hat on my head and you know stuff kind of around my face, this bino harness on me, uh, pull it onto my chest. It, it, this is things that I'm definitely not as used to whenever the time comes because I'm, I'm out of practice from it. You know, when you go through the whole season doing certain things, they seem like second nature by the time season's over, right? Well, now we're coming out of winter, spring, and you know we're into summer. You've been used to just shooting in the backyard and blue jeans and t-shirt, uh, just flinging arrows at paper more than likely. So now that it's about a couple months out, this is whenever I usually start getting pretty serious. This is whenever the good old cardboard deer uh, comes out and I start shooting in positions like this that are more realistic to the way that I actually hunt whether that's from a tree stand or from the ground uh, but right now I'm just trying to kind of I'm thinking about that uh, public land hunt and how I'm going to be hunting there uh, from the ground probably sitting on a log if I had to guess and trying to stay inside this 20 yard mark or so that's what I'm shooting at right now but just by doing these little things like this, you don't have to do it every time you practice. It's still okay to go out and, you know, shorts and flip flops or whatever and shoot a paper, whatever you want to do. That's still okay. You're hunting, you got all this camouflage on. You've been used to shooting all winter long at paper or wearing blue jeans, tennis shoes on a flat range. And now you have a deer standing in front of you. You're like, whoa, this is different. So in order to break up that monotony, you don't have to do this very often, but if you shoot every day, you know, maybe a couple times a week, put some of this stuff on and get used to shooting this way. Um, it seems to some, I've had people make fun of me, you know, it's kind of hokey to get out here and pretend hunt against a cardboard deer, but really what you're doing is that practice, um, that perfect practice like this is what you're going to fall back on whenever the adrenaline's flowing through your veins and you're stressed out, you're nervous, tired, you're gonna remember, you're, what your brain's gonna revert back to is what's familiar with. And you don't have to do something very much to make your mind familiar with it and recall doing it. Uh, but like I said, once or twice a week, I would say it would be a healthy amount to do that in order to still establish some kind of uh, hard wire for you to fall back on whenever you do actually have an animal standing in front of you. So that's 
pretty well what I do all summer long. Uh, I get much more realistic about my practice and my brain starts shifting hardcore on preparing for the whitetail woods. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a few shots here. shot two good shots so that's pretty much all I got for you guys uh, the point of this video again is start thinking about with uh, the year bow seasons coming up some of the western states even start in august so your all's archery seasons are coming up whether you shoot a compound or a stick bow grab your bow put on some of those items that are kind of the real shockers like the bino harness hanging off your chest and that you're having to maneuver your string around and the stuff in your face you know like a uh, ghillie suit or a hat like this things that are just a little bit more distracting and unusual from the way you normally shoot. Um, sit, shoot from a sit sitting position, kneeling positions, up in a tree stand. You know, this is the time to start getting pretty serious. And if you try to at least implement, like I said, I encourage you to do it twice a week until season starts. And I can promise you when it comes time to climb into the tree stand, the ground blind, or uh, head for the mountains, it will surprise you at how much more confident and calm that you're going to feel uh, going into that, just knowing that you have familiarized yourself that much more and you're just that much more prepared than uh, you used to be. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the channel. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. Uh, if you haven't rang the bell icon to make sure you're getting notified whenever I do drop videos, be sure to do that as well. Uh, if you like what you saw, leave a comment down below. And if there's things you guys want to see from me, be sure to leave that stuff in the comments as well. Uh, I'm open to whatever you guys you know are kind of wanting to see as far as content. Um, I'm going to be doing some tree stand stuff and getting ready for opening day this weekend. So I'll be bringing you along for some of that. But anyway, again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe, and most importantly, shoot straight.